Y'all see it? Y'all see I ain't moving nothing. <laughs> girl Kiki and I'm back with another video so from the title y'all know that I have recently moved to Charlotte North Carolina and I'm very excited if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe <laughs> if you are already a subscriber go ahead and hit that like button I'm looking a little bit crusty dusty musty all the above because I haven't showered or nothing y'all I had so many vlogs for y'all already done two already uploaded on my YouTube I don't think I'll post those I had one already like basically done and my SD card completely corrupted and I can't get none of that back. And when I tell y'all the vlog was so freaking fire, it was so fire. So upset about that. But best thing I gotta do right now is move on, make a new vlog and do what I do. So you girl moved to Charlotte, North Carolina and I'm so excited to be here, y'all. It feels like home. It feels like I should have already been here, but I have a lot to do this week, y'all. So I decided I was gonna take y'all with me because we got some plans, girl. Today, I know I am focused on unpacking my suitcase. I've been in Charlotte for not even a month, probably three weeks and this is what my suitcase look like. It's ridiculous. I can't unpack this stuff until other stuff is unpacked. Like, I don't know what it is, but like, yes, girl, um, we gotta do something about this. I have to unpack some stuff. I'm going out of the country in less than three weeks and I need that suitcase for the next 21 days until it's time to go out the country. No sweets, um, no alcohol, um, only eating healthy, working out five days out of the week walking every day so um i'm a week into it last week i worked out four times i walked every day but twice and it was only because you know my redhead aunt came into town and she just messed up everything i feel like i'm talking to y'all a lot but that's only because y'all haven't seen me i haven't talked to y'all so long well not really but really to y'all i haven't talked to y'all in so long but um Yes, girl, we're gonna get all of this stuff figured out because I can't live like this no more. Since the move here, then like my sleep has been a little off. My bed has not been comfortable. And so I got this mattress topper and I just put it on today because they said you have to like let it sit out for like two days or something like that. It's shower has been sitting out for like a week. Anyways, I finally put it on the bed um, along with my mattress protector and um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the sheets to get out of the washing, out of the laundry room, and I'll be good to go. We have to make some returns today. I do this thing where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna switch up my style. And I buy something that I know I'm not gonna wear, and then I end up looking back and never wearing it. So, to get ahead of it, I'm gonna go ahead and return this shirt that I got. Y'all, tell me why I don't shop at H&M. haven't shopped at H&M since that whole monkey situation. Anyways, um, y'all gonna retwist really my hair with me. Y'all gonna go to the store with me to return this stuff because I also gotta return some stuff from Forever 21. I gotta try on these. You know what? We're doing like a try on haul. I finally bought some jeans from Swankaposh because I keep hearing so much about them. <gasps> oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. I just look out the window and look what I see. Y'all see that big old, y'all see that? That thing about thick as Right on them. I ain't never. What kind of spiders they got in Charlotte? This is crazy. I don't even know what to say. Like, what is that? What is that? I don't know what type of creatures they got up over here in Charlotte. That thing juicy. Gotcha. No, I didn't. Y'all, it's been one little gnat gnat running around here, and I have not been able to get it. I went and got some apple cider vinegar and some Dawn. Cause that's how you like trap them. Yeah, let me get off this girl. <laughs> I am back. I emptied out one box out of the closet. I still got one more to go. Um, I did have to stop because I'm like, I wanna hang up the clothes that I just bought, but I don't wanna hang them up if I don't try them on first. And I don't wanna try them on unless 
I shower first because I want my body to be clean. But then I don't want to shower just yet because I want to go on a walk and I want to go work out. So <laughs> this is how my brain works. But um, so I'm going to go work out. Y'all want to know what's funny? It's the fact that I never used to be a jewelry girl, but I didn't turn into an earring girl. I've also turned into an earring girl at the gym. So I'm going to put these on for the gym. It's crazy how like things change because I was never this. I was never this girl. Yes, girl, let's go to the gym. That was a good workout. Yeah. I'm tired, tired. I'm gonna go ahead and run up these stairs real quick. And then I'll turn my apple off. <laughs> Watch out. Just a little bit of time later. I got out of the shower, ate. We're gonna do a light retwist. I am two years, two years, two weeks, a lot. This is a lot of hair. I'm at the level, like you see the level right here, y'all. I don't know what the heck it is, but like, it's like when my hair dries, it dries like this. It dries like, and it curls at the bottom. And I don't understand why it does that. So I have to like put it in a ponytail for it to be straight. Why do we keep doing that? Like it's going this way, like no, I'm trying to straighten it down. Keep going like whoop, like no, go do. It's doing it like my mama. So yeah. like a light retwist like I said I was gonna do y'all now it's time to like <sighs> get in this bed together child this whole room need to be get together I gotta try on those pants from Swankaposh um uh, I gotta try on that dress I have to put out an email for my business because I plan on doing a sale on either Wednesday or Thursday and I'm gonna have it last for the rest of the week if you didn't know, I have a skincare business called Sweet Butter Bay, and it caters to people with extremely dry skin, like myself, um, eczema, other skin conditions. So I decided to make a business to cater to my dry skin folk. I've been in business for four years. I love it. I've just lately been ready to take my business to another level. So your girl has revamped some stuff, been preparing stuff. I have newsletters out now, which I'm really excited about. Um, and then some fun games and the newsletters. So I need to like trademark that. If you a dry skin folk, <laughs> um, then go ahead and subscribe to my business. You can find it at www.sweetwaterbay.com. Go ahead and subscribe. You get like 10% off after you subscribe. So you can use that towards your first purchase. I do have samples on there. If you're hesitant, you can always buy some samples. So if you a dry skin folk like me, if you ashy like me, go ahead and hit up sweet water bay <laughs> let's get this room together let's get this closet together and prepare for the rest of the week because we got some fun stuff to do
As y'all seen yesterday, there was a whole lot of stuff there. I'm throwing that shirt away. This is what we have left. Ran out of hangers. I do want to try on those clothes. I do want to go work out. Last night, what I ended up doing was just making a pizza from scratch and watching Netflix. This is what my closet is looking like. Um, it is a hot mess. Like I said, I cleaned this out. I did leave my bathing suit in here for the trip that I'll be going on. I don't think I told y'all, well, I did tell y'all on the vlog that got destroyed. This channel is just gonna be about my life, fitness, health, and entrepreneurship. Like, <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Cause some of y'all be wondering. And if you're into that type of thing, then just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I feel like I'm super late telling y'all that, but it is what it is. So, um, let's go ahead and go to the gym and, uh, yeah, let's go. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a bruise from the cleans. I can't wear perfume on my chest because it breaks out, so that's what y'all are seeing right here. This is from the hand clean today. Y'all can't even tell. But it's like right here. I got some bruises. You know, back in the day, I was happy about the war scars, but today, I want my skin to look really nice. And I just can't be whamming it on my chest like that like that's just gonna create way more bruises than i need so anyways i just sprayed some rose water on my face in the mornings i only rinse my face with water and spray it with rose water and I've been doing that for a few months now. Cause I'm just like, it doesn't make sense to wash your face when you wake up. I keep clean sheets for one and for two, like 
what am I doing overnight to be needing to wash my face in the morning? I just feels like it, I just feel like it dries my face out too much. So I rinse my face with cold water in the morning, put on some rose water, let it dry into my face, and I'll put this head of fill on. I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna see you guys a little bit later. I do wanna try on some clothes before I go to the mall to return some stuff. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna try on a few items of clothing really quick and y'all are gonna see what they look like because I have to figure out if I want to return them or not. So, maybe we can take this off because this everything is dry at this point. Ooh, child. Here's the dress from H&M. It's pretty long. Can you see the bottom? Um, I'm gonna put it on really quick. Okay, so this is what the dress looks like. Um, let me grab the mirror because I can't see anything. This is how the dress looks, y'all. It's not bad, but it's not giving. It's definitely too big. I got it in like, where did I get this in? I got it in a large because I was scared that my arms wouldn't fit. But I definitely could have gone down. Um, Cause I think it's supposed to be like on your shoulders. Yikes. It's not like fit in like a glove, like I want it to fit. It goes to like, mid calf um it's a really cute dress i just need it to be tighter it like it looks like it shouldn't be like that now if i pull the arms down like maybe but it sags in the back y'all see that right here it like sags in the back and so it's a really really cute dress but it's just too loose so that's what this looks like i'm gonna send this back all right y'all so i am not getting these jeans it's just not happening um i'm doing a little, a little jump and i still see my undies in the back y'all see like my thighs like they busting up the seams you doing all that jumping up and down squatting y'all i feel like if i squat i'm gonna bust this little seam right here honey just relax breathe yeah You know what? Maybe a nice dress. No, it's not giving. These are going back. These are the body double high rise distress skinny jeans dark wash in a size 15. It's not giving, sis. Now these feel good. These feel really good. These feel extremely good. Okay. These make the booty look good. Y'all see it? Y'all see I ain't moving nothing. <laughs> These are the black lead size 15, 16. These fit just fine. Amazing. Great. Like they look good. They feel soft. All of my people that wear black all the time, they know the different blacks. Like there's a navy blue back. There's a black black. There's a ashy black, there's an off black. Like if you know, you know, these are pure black. And then they're tall girl friendly, they're curvy girl friendly. Your girl is like 5'10 and a half. Um, and look where they go to y'all. They go to the ankle. Let's see. Okay, my blood pack gonna be out. Nah, fam, this ain't gonna work. This not it. I can't even. What is this? This is a mega stretch jeans, medium wash, extra large size fix 15. This ain't it. This ain't gonna work. Y'all. Y'all really try it, man. But I want to square up with y'all because why these, all these 15s 
fit different and why when did i make this oh y'all i think it's too late for me to return this i hope it's a 30 days it's a 14 days from the delivery date one second y'all oh my gosh it was delivered on the 21st this is a joke i can't deliver i can't Return his pants, y'all. I'm sick right now. Look at this. Bro, just turn off the video. Let me show y'all one more thing. The last thing that I got from um, H&M was this puffer jacket. And it's really cute. Fits really fine, just fine. Um, I'm trying not to turn my head because I don't want to get makeup on. But this is how it fits. It's really cute, like I said. Um, I can zip it up just fine if I want to zip it up like that. But if I'm wearing makeup, I'm not zipping it up that far. So, it zips up just fine. It has pockets. <laughs> um, I'm going to keep this. This is cute. I got it in a size small. Really cute. This is saying. That concludes our try on haul for today. I gotta change my battery because this is already telling me that the battery is dead. I don't know what's going on, child. But um, I'm gonna see you guys when I get to the car because we gotta return this stuff because I'm not going, I'm not wasting no more money messing up deadline, return deadlines. Um, I also got a package delivered for my she and or from she in uh, for my trip in two weeks, three weeks, something like that. So stay tuned for a try on haul. I'll link it right here. It's going to shoot out. That's if YouTube still allows that. But it's going to shoot out. And you can click on that video after you're done with this video to see what those looks are. Um, so I'm going to see y'all in the car. I'm going to get all this stuff together so we can return it. Anyways, y'all. So I am headed to the mall to return some stuff. And it looks like I got a Target thing to return as well. So I'm gonna return, I'm gonna go to Target, we're gonna go Forever 21, and we're gonna go to H&M to return all this stuff. It looks like it's about to storm today, low key. Um, I wanted to talk to y'all for a little bit because your girl moved to Charlotte and I'm officially a Southern Bell, East Coast baddie, you know what I'm saying? But um, I am really enjoying my time here so far. I enjoy the people, the culture. The weather's not that bad, honestly. Um, I'm not a big heat fan, like I don't like the heat, but it'll do the food is amazing there's so much to do like i'm really enjoying myself and i've only been here for like three weeks <laughs> really happy where i'm at i low-key was supposed to be down south for school because the school that i wanted to go to was in the carolinas i wanted to go but i just couldn't decide so i left it up a guy and pick my college out of a hat i know crazy a lot of people are just like how what excuse me whoa yeah so every time i say that people be like you pick your college out of a hat girl you was crazy um just a little bit but i left it up to god that was me leaving up to god i really couldn't decide and so i ended up at a school that i ended up transferring from <laughs> long story short i was supposed to be down south um and now i'm down south and so your girl is a southern belle like i've always wanted to be yeah um oh man not he stuck on the side of the road oh no is that a girl if that's a girl i'm gonna help is that a girl that's a girl i'm gonna help i'm gonna help her because like what i need to be walking on the side of the street like this let me put my stuff in the back. Y'all, if it was a dude, I would not have helped. I'm gonna put my camera up so she won't be creeped out. Like, who is this person? <laughs> but, um, yes, y'all. I will call y'all back. Anyway, y'all, so I wanted to pop back on here because your girl's still alive. I seen a girl walking on the side of the road and it looked like she, like her car ran out of gas. She had uh, the gas jug with her. And so, um, I was just like, it's too hot. Let me pull over on the side of the road and help this girl out because she looks really young. She looks really young. If I see somebody struggling, I'ma help out. And so she's getting gas right now, but I'm safe. Just want to check in real quick. But this thing is sport or something. Okay, y'all, so I am back low key. 
that would have been horrible because it just started raining out of nowhere and all. Uh, she would have got caught in the rain. I just, uh. Anyways, we gotta stick together at the end of the day. So, um, now I'm back off to the mall. Uh, that's funny how God works. That is so funny how God works. So the girl that I picked up, she is in school to be an RN and I've been doing CNA work for the past 10 years. But yeah, so she's in school to like an 18 month program to become an RN. And she just gave me some different jobs that I should apply for, some advice on not to go to the facilities out here. Basically, she gave me that whole plug on how to get started as a CNA out here. Thank God, that's crazy how God works. Um, so yes, she sent me her number, her name, um, and some information on some jobs. And I'm so thankful because like, I didn't know where to go. I know my, I know like the CNA stuff don't transfer over to Charlotte or to North Carolina. Like I would have to take a whole class and some extra stuff, which I didn't want to do. So I was getting very discouraged because nothing was working out. Like the job that I have now, I feel like I'm really just <laughs> venting to y'all, but the job that I have now, I ended up registering to be a registered behavior technician did the class now i just gotta go online or go in and take whatever clinical test skills test or whatever it is um to do that and low-key it's not even worth it because like the pay is not that much greater i'm gonna call you back y'all i went to the wrong walmart to pick up my stuff and i told them i was there but i'm not really there because they be taking forever in a day every time i've gone to the walmart there I'm sitting in a parking lot for at least 10, 15 minutes. And so I decided to tell them that I was there three minutes before I got there. And then I realized I'm at the wrong Walmart. Women in tech. Women in, <gasps> this is a turning lane. I'm not supposed to go on this lane. Well, I guess we're uh, riding a shoulder till we get in. Sorry, I'm not from here, as you can see. <laughs> Y'all, that's my excuse for everything. I'm not from here. I'm confused. Thank you, God. Man. I gotta just, even when it don't work out, it's gonna work out. I have nothing to say. Nothing to say, and my battery dying. <laughs> I'ma just talk to y'all later at this point because this is just going downhill real quick. Bye, y'all. Yeah, this is it. Thank you. I went to the wrong location. Yeah, Sorry. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one. I'm good one, okay? Thank you, you too. All right. Think you hit that. The whole car moving for me. Ooh. One thing I'm going to say about Charlotte, y'all radio station be live. They got me. This is supposed to be a return day. Not a spend money day. Long story short, y'all, I got some roll-on perfumes. <laughs> I find it so weird that at the shopping centers here, they like charge you for parking up front. That is really weird to me. Like, why am I being charged to park in a huge parking lot in the front, like, I don't know, eight lanes or something? And I, just, it just doesn't make sense to me. But, I mean, the whole idea just doesn't make sense to me because why are we charging for the first six spots closest to the door? That's, that's wild to me. I really like how I'm still recording and it says I have a dead battery. Anyways, y'all, I was leaving out of the Target parking spot and I haven't eaten a lick of food today, like nothing. Like, I've only been drinking water and it's 5 o'clock. Really bad, especially because I worked out earlier. And I seen this vegan food truck it's like a vegan burger place and so i'm gonna see what they working with real quick because y'all it's him saying oh i know you from somewhere no you don't know me you don't know me not me baby i got the food i'm so excited okay so this is what the fries look like. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hurry up before this thing dies. I just feel like it's gonna die. I'm like, mm. I'll just take a bite. Mm. 
It's fresh. It's good too. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They did that. Mm hmm. Yeah. So I am back home. I feel like a sweaty mess. Um, I said that I was going to go ahead and get these clothes figured out hung up so i'm gonna hang these up really quick because i don't want any more clothes on a bed and i don't want to put them back over there so. Officially finished putting away all these clothes. This is going to garbage. I mean, the zipper broke and I really just don't feel like taking it to the seamstress to get fixed. I am really happy that I got those clothes out of the way because I was really tired of this room looking crazy. Every time I walk past that closet, y'all throw me off. Look how bad this looks. That's a whole monster to tackle. Start throwing stuff in here because I was so tired of having bags and boxes around. So everything that was in a box, I just threw in here. The bags are still gonna be looking like how it's looking. But at this point, child, I don't know what to do. The room is officially box free. <laughs> But anyways, y'all, I think that is all that I'm going to be doing today. So I will see you guys tomorrow, mañana, Wednesday. I don't know what we have planned, but yeah, I'm going to close out the vlog today. It's 6 o'clock, 6.08. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, y'all, it is a new day. I am running some errands today. I gotta drop off some thank you cards. I have to go to U at USPS, UPS and get something notarized. And then um, I think I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and pick up something to eat for tonight. I think I'm gonna make some spinach artichoke chicken or something like that. Tomorrow I'm very excited because my alma mater is coming to North Carolina to compete. If you didn't know, I'm a gopher, Minnesota gopher alum. <laughs> They will be competing against the Chapel Hill, UNC Chapel Hill, tomorrow. No, not tomorrow, Saturday. And so we're going to head to that game, drive about two hours away to go support my alma mater. Tomorrow, there's actually going to be a show that is happening in Charlotte. It's hosted by Ace Metaphor, but it's called Tonight's Conversation. And I'm very excited because I think it's going to be a lot of fun but um i'm really excited to see uh, kita shout out to kita i really love her commentary along with randy i've been following her for years there's gonna be a show tomorrow night in charlotte and so um and yes your girl will be in attendance i'll bring the vloggy vlog and y'all can see what the show is about as well yeah i'm really excited so let's get going y'all because i'm just talking and talking talking and talking and talking so i am back i tried going to the us or us ups but the guy um that is the notary he is out right now and so the girl working she said that he would be back in like five minutes so i'm gonna go grab something to eat really quick because i know i'm gonna get hungry in a matter of like 30 minutes or so Hey y'all, so I'm back. 
the food has been secured. Um, I was in line. <laughs> it was so funny. I should have brought my camera in with me. I don't know why I don't. But I was in line, y'all. And um, for I just be striking up conversations with people. But there was this one girl. Um, we were talking about locks and stuff like that. Exchange information. There was another dude in there. <laughs> in there that was just like, that's all you got? <laughs> I'm like, I got a basil pesto pasta with chicken and broccoli. That's all skimpy. He's like, you should have got a salad. And I in my head, oh, my fault, y'all. But I'm like, nah, your salad do look like it's hitting right now. And so he was just like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get this deluxe Caesar next time. And so, ooh, ooh. Oh, girl. <laughs> she just hit that hurt like crazy. Oh! Dang, she just ran over the curb, y'all. Like, when I say over the curb, over the curb. But, no, we were talking to stuff, and he was just like, um, you go to UNC? Or you you, you go to, uh, whatever the school is here? I'm like, no, I've, I've graduated. And he, when it comes to me, I don't play about my school that I graduated from. So, they was like, oh, where you from? I was like, I, well, I went to school in Minnesota. And then he was like, oh, for real? My cousin just moved um, down here from Minnesota four weeks ago. I'm like, I just moved down here about three weeks ago. I'm like, what are the chances, y'all? Literally everybody that I talked to, they, for one, got the best energy. For two, it's crazy how like connected we all are. Cause like, what are the chances that your cousin just moved down here from Minnesota? Like from St. Paul at that, where I, where I was. And then like just good conversation. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love, I love us. I love us so much. Um, but yes, I'm gonna go up in here and see if this guy's in here so he can go ahead and hit up this last page that mm, we forgot the sign. So oh, I'm gonna be back y'all. All right y'all, so we back. <laughs> Yo, I I just love Charlotte. Like literally the energy here, dope. A1. Like, yo, I can't believe she ran over that dang on curb. Energy here is dope. The people here are amazing. Like, I'm over here. <laughs> they just be loving on me and I love it. I love it. They be like, yo, energy. I be like, me, my energy. <laughs> I love it. Like when somebody can compliment your energy, like that's not me, baby. That's God. Period. Now I need to go to USPS to drop off some thank you cards. I actually got the Trader Joe's cookbook, and so they had just that combination. And so it's I was like, really I have good. to try it. Yes. Oh, have you ever had this? No. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's fire? It's, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, no cap on that. Right? Yeah. What else are you doing with it? Um, just some green beans. So it's just chicken, beans. green beans. Oh, so you're just using the, the dip as, as like a, your That's dip. stuffed chicken. Oh, you're gonna slice yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 that sounds good. That sounds real good. Yes. Alrighty, if care. I come back and you're here, I'll let you know how it tastes. I got this recipe from the Trader Joe's Five Items or Less Cookbook. Um, and so I got it off of Amazon. And if you are wanting to... Let me flip to the page where... This is on. These are some of the options for dinner, well, chicken and turkey dinners. Um, and I put a little ear on the pages of stuff that I actually wanna try. And so tonight I'll be making this. Without the asparagus inside, I'm gonna leave the asparagus out of it and then I'm gonna put green beans on the side. It takes 20 minutes to cook and you just follow the recipe and that's that. So 
I'm gonna be making this tonight and I'm really excited to make it. I'll probably make it with you guys as well. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my little cousin, y'all. She just wants to say hi. Drop that work up in the bushes. Hope them boys don't see my stash. If they do tell the truth, this the last time you might see my from the gardens where the grass ain't cut them serpents lurking blood. Sell them, sell them, but it's all good. Broken promises, do your watch and tell you what time it is. Take your chase and take you to kick it where the fuck it is. Alright y'all, I'm gonna do a little taste test really quick. Can I have your card? Okay. What's your pen? Oh, just credit. Yeah. Okay. No <laughs> what? I'm not playing. Shopping spree. Bye, babe. Got the car, girls. Let's get it. Y'all, we got the car. Time to go shopping. I ordered these like pin things. It like connects us, connects the jeans or whatever like this. And so I ordered some off Amazon. I'm not really sure how I like them just yet because this is my first time wearing them. But all my girls with the big booties know. Big booties, smaller waist. My goodness, is it so hard to find the right pair of jeans? So I use them because I just I hate when I wear my, like my belts and stuff and it like buckles in the back. Or it's like holes on the back, two sides of the pants. Like, it's not a cute look. So, I ordered these thinking that they would, you know, help me out. Um, they're doing all right. I'm just scared of like one of the, the heads popping off and then like poking me. I'm gonna link it in uh, the description box below and you can check it out to see if this is something that'll work for you. But like I said, so far so good. Um, I will give you guys a review at the end of the day, or not at the end of the day, well, before I take these pants off, to let y'all know how I feel about them. Mm. 
Hej och hej. I'm gonna get married one day, and we won't sage away all of our generational curses. And we won't make sure real estate deals and company purse purchases, because what good is 5K for a bag that don't got 5K? The tonight's conversation podcast, all the way to Charlotte. Charlotte, make some noise! Listen, listen, if you're looking for dope conversation in the party atmosphere where you can let your hair down, have fun, be safe, and enlightened, Motherfucking city. Bleep, bleep that, bleep that, bleep that. Because we sit around. Drop, 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 smoking, no cooking, no hot pot. Cooking on your bitch, she a dot, dot, dot. Cooking up, no bring the crock pot, pot. Who came from nothing to something, nigga? I don't try nobody to the trigger, but call up the gang and they come and get drink. Call me your river, get food, push your ass. Y'all are standing tonight. Y'all are I am <sighs> tired, hungry, ready to go to sleep. <sighs> I will talk to y'all tomorrow. I did want to show y'all that outfit really quickly because I didn't show y'all earlier. All I'm wearing is this corset that I got from Amazon skirt that I got from Amazon. I don't even remember where these shoes are from. Super blurry. Hey y'all, so we head to the game. We're in a rush though right now, so I'm not able to talk to y'all like I want to talk to y'all. But I'm wearing, you know, maroon and gold today. You see the makeup, you see the fit. I'm gonna check out the Okay, period. I gotta go. We're on the road, but we have to stop really quick because we're gonna get some Starbies. How many can you get? How is like the highest number you can probably get a day? You are so beautiful. Like, I'm not, I'm, trust me, I'm not hating either. I'm just like, it's just a known fact. Like at this point. Who's the prettiest motherfucker out here in the world? Thank you. We love compliments over here. Or the affirmation is a love language. Well, we are headed to the game right now. We have to get Starbucks. Um, I got for the first time a uh, vanilla bean caramel frappe. Um, and it's really good. You know, I used to be a frappe girl back in the day. But lately, I've been, for the past few years, I've been a matcha girl. I don't like Starbucks um, matchas. They just like are super grainy. Not good. Given zero out of 10. Mm. Anyways, I guess I'm playing DJ. Passenger Princess, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these two started, and I will see you guys when we get near and dear to the game. Sky, you ma. Hey, y'all. So we stopped to get food really quick because Mr. Munchie needs to munch. That's why you said you here. So we, we're stopping at this place called Carolina Brewery. Um, this corner right over here. Yep. For real? 
we are leaving this the pub place whatever it was called i don't know but those cheeseburger egg rolls were so fire like if we ever come back <laughs> then I'll definitely be getting those again. I'm gonna drop y'all off because I'm gonna start vlogging on my phone because y'all know how they are about cameras and stuff there. So the next time that you see me, then we will be on the phone. story short we lost the game oh. and here's how we're gonna do it we didn't get blown out did we I don't think we got blown out anyways the game was nerve-wracking the gophers really made me mad because they weren't catching anything after the game we ended up going to my cousin's house because she lives in Durham we hung out with her for like an hour or so and then we headed back to Charlotte it was such a fun day y'all the vibes was good I got to see my friend Bria, <laughs> shout out to Bria if she's watching this. But she drove like three, four hours to come watch the Gophers play because she lives out in DC. And so I got to see Bria. I got to see um, more alum while I was there. And so I was surprised to see some some familiar faces in the crowd, but I did have a good time. Um, as you can see, I have my jammies on. I'm about to eat some uh, leftovers from Fridays. I got some buffalo wings. And um, I'm about to go to bed, y'all. It is like, I don't even have my watch on. I turned, I like took a shower and just like took everything off. Um, it is 11.34. And when I tell y'all I slept the whole ride back, I was tired. Like, I was so tired that yeah, it was so hard for me to walk up the stairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat these wings and I will see you guys tomorrow since it is Sunday. Um, if I don't pick up the vlog, then I appreciate you guys watching my vlog. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next vlog. And I pray that you have an amazing week. Bye.